guys, it's a sad day in the Call of Duty world. There's no more prop on. I guess it's just back to playing good old hubs and domination. Yay. I'm honestly so bored right now. I want to play prop hunt so bad. I'm having prop hunt withdrawals right now. That's, that's just like, I don't know if that's pathetic or just like, okay. Have. Because for me right now, it's not. I want prop hunt. I just, I want prop hunt so bad. <laughs> Hey, for what I believe is that they should really add, like, a community playlist that has all, like, the weekend warfare in it for everyone to play. Now, I don't know if that would potentially mess up everyone playing certain, certain things, really. Like, if they hated that people were only playing one certain game type or anything. But, like, the thing is, I highly doubt that'd be the case because there's still a lot of people playing... There's stuff like Team Deathmatch and Search and Destroy and everything. It's not like people stopped playing that during the, throughout the weekend. Maybe some people didn't even like how my phone was being played, and so they just didn't play it. And, you know, it's not like you went over to the plot point thing and it said 100% of players are playing this. No, it was like 48 or something. So not even half of the community was playing this on at least PlayStation. And so I would have to say, like... You should add like a community playlist with all the weekend warfares on it so that we can, people like me who really enjoyed Prop Hunt can continue playing Prop Hunt and not have any issues with it. Because I'm sorry, but that was a really fun game mode and I really liked it. And instead of going out and paying, I don't know, like 20 bucks to buy Gary's mod, I can just go and get Prop Hunt or play Prop Hunt on here. Which is what I consider to do anyway, because I don't want to buy Gary's mod and play Pop Hunt. It's just me complaining, but I would really like for them to bring back uh, you know, Pop Hunt and the other successful weekend warfare, like Snipers Only. I know a lot of people like that. Uh, RPGs Only was really funny to watch and play too. I won't lie. I won't lie. And um, Slasher. I only played Slasher for a couple hours I would say but I had a lot of fun playing it it was really fun and um let's see uh, I believe that was all of them that I have actually played but I mean they were very fun game modes and I really liked them and I wish they'd stay in a sense or like how everyone else saying is just like put them in private match so that you can get like a bunch of friends together and play them that way in which in that case I would completely understand and, and completely enjoy anyway because I could hop on with a bunch of my friends from my like school and like people I know and make just and just make an amazing video over it and that's another thing you know um, people can make so much good content on the weekend warfare it would be such good stuff besides like other than the like this where it's just like a cut calm where people are just sitting there talking and Playing over them talking, everything is just. I don't know. It'd be, it'd be cool to see what, it'd be cool to see come back at least. And a lot of people enjoyed it, but again, it's just a little rant that I'm having. Again, I'm having, I'm having withdrawals from not being able to play prop hunt anymore, and I wish I would have had more time to be able to play it, but I just didn't, and I'm having withdrawals of it. So I just need to find something else to. To, um, I guess, I don't know, fulfill that, I don't know, addiction that I got, and maybe that'll fix it, but I don't know. I don't think anything could replace the happiness I had for Prop Hunt. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. Speaking of, uh, <laughs> feel like, fulfilling the addiction that I lost for playing Prop Hunt, boy, let me tell you, April gonna be a good month for my channel I hope I hope and there's gonna be two games coming out this month that I'm really excited for and that is going to be Outlast 2 and a platformer called Yokulele and I don't know 
how much, how excited I am to really be posting the local Yokulele game. I'm gonna keep butchering that the whole time, but the Yokulele game. But I am really excited to be posting uh, Outlast or to get the opportunity to post Outlast. I played the first one and I streamed it, and it was such a fun time. I had such an amazing time streaming that game, and. I won't be streaming it this time, but I will definitely be recording a gameplay for it, or recording a let's play for it, and uh, I'm just, I'm so excited for it. Uh, Outlast is just an amazing game, it's, you know a lot of people dog on it because it's just, you know, pretty basic I would say, but I really like how the game, like, acts and everything, and how it really tries to, I don't know, I can't really explain it, but I really like how that game's horror really plays out in, in a sense. Besides, like, um, well, it's, not it's not really better than any other horror game that I have played, but it is, it's one of my more favorite ones, just because of, uh, it's really always kind of in your face. Most, most of the time, like, when I'm playing horror games, like, it's kind of, scares are what really are important in a horror game, I would say, and Outlast really knocks it out of the park with its scare factor, the sense of there's, you know, there's a scare all, like, always around the corner, and people would say that it's a little overkill of what, how they did it in the first one, which... I wouldn't say they overkilled it, but they definitely didn't give enough, like, breaks in between the scares, really. Like, they, there was always something, like, up in your face at all times, and whenever you had the chance to breathe, like, for a slight second, and you had, you're right back into it. And so, that's where I would probably have a problem with it, and I hope they kind of fix it in this next one. I feel like they're going to do a great job on this title. I was, I just can't wait. It's April 25th, I believe, and you're going to be seeing it that night. I mean, I promise you that. You're going to be seeing it that night, or even the next day, hopefully, sometime. You're going to be seeing it. You're going to be seeing it first day. I'm going to make a promise of that. Get, I love it, to be honest. It's really one of my... Whoa. Messed up, son. I and I keep getting block, dude. I hate this map so much, dude. Block is such a terrible map. Everyone just hides in these buildings, dude. Just snipe. Oh, oh man! Now they're gonna just be sitting here waiting for me. I mean. Why are you using a sniper on this map? I must be asking for a sniper, a shotgun on this map. I saw you, and I missed you, dude. Give me a like with his no scope. Oh! <laughs> Damn it! I was really hoping for it, man. I was really hoping for it. This is a Call of Duty video, but man, I really want to be talking about other games I'm playing right now. As you're seeing this video, I want to say, I don't know when I'll be uploading this video, Potent, uh, what day I'll be uploading this video, but you will have probably have already seen uh, my third Layers of Fear video of where I've had a a heart attack and literally cried and Jesus that game man <laughs> that game scares me so much like it's such a scary game honestly it is, it's not the fact that it's scary for its jump scares it, it, trust me it has amazing jump scares if you've been watching the videos that I've been making on that game it's absolute. The jump scares in that game are absolutely amazing, and I love how they do them and how they uh, choreograph them. But the one thing that I feel like it should have, or not should have, but the one thing that it's really mastering 
is the psychological effect the game has on a person. And the psychological effect is that the fact that, okay, one, I don't understand if I'm going through a, uh, what do you call it? I'm going through it right now because I can't remember what it is. A, oh man, dude, I'm just going to forget about it. I can't think of it at the moment. Amnesia, just remembered it. Pop, you know, put a light bulb above my head. But, um... The fact that I kind of feel like you're going through like an amnesia kind of effect, really, that you can't really remember what's going on, or that the main thing is happening because you're in a creative, like, mind block in the game. Yeah, you, you know, you're a painter who is stuck in a creative block and he can't figure out that first step in his painting. So, I'm trying to find out how to get over that hump in your creative block. But, what's got me is, you know, what happened to your wife and all this stuff. You know, kind of just small little details that I feel like the game is missing, but I feel like it's going to explain later on. I don't know, I just haven't played enough of it. Thank you so much for tuning in today. That's going to be the end of the video today. It means so much that y'all spend about 10 minutes about your of your day just coming by and just stopping and watching my videos. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for everything that y'all are doing for me right now. I really hope y'all enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to leave a like and be sure to comment what you guys would like to see next. And be sure to subscribe for more awesome videos.